Big Northeast Tennessee welcome. Uh, my name is Monty Collier. This is the Monty Collier Report. Every now and then, I get an email from somebody asking me about Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church. Usually the individual asks something like this. Is Fred Phelps a Calvinist? Well, let's go ahead and answer that question. Uh, is Fred Phelps a Calvinist? The answer is no. That's a negative. Fred Phelps is not a Calvinist. Westboro Baptist Church is not a Calvinist church. Once again, for the record, the answer is no. Thinking that homosexual behavior is wicked does not make one a Calvinist. Believing in absolute predestination does not make one a Calvinist. That being said, and more to the point, the fact that Fred Phelps claims to be a Baptist makes it logically impossible for him to be a Calvinist. By definition, if you are a Baptist, then you are not a Calvinist. Calvinism is defined by the Westminster Confession of Faith. The closest any Baptist has ever come to the Westminster Confession of Faith is the 1689 London Baptist Confession of Faith. If you compare the London Baptist Confession of faith to the Westminster Confession, then you will see that there are some significant differences. So again, Baptists are not Presbyterians. Baptists are not German or Dutch Reformed. Baptists are not Calvinist. Therefore, Fred Phelps is not a Calvinist. Westboro Baptist Church is not a Calvinist church. Now that we have answered that question, Let's examine Fred Phelps's claim that he and Westboro Baptist Church are old school primitive Baptists. Again, the answer is a resounding no. Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church are not old school primitive Baptists. When I first heard that Fred Phelps was claiming to be an old school primitive Baptist, I started looking into him. I found out very quickly that he was not an old school primitive Baptist. I have an interest in old school primitive Baptist theology and its history. And that's why I looked into it. Uh, the first thing that should tip you off that Fred Phelps is not an old school primitive Baptist is the fact that he went to Bob Jones University. Believe me, no old school, old line, hard shell primitive Baptist is going to go to Bob Jones University. That's not going to happen. Primitive Baptists do not go to Bible colleges or seminaries. They don't believe in it. So it is clear that Fred Phelps was not a Primitive Baptist when he was attending Bob Jones. Another tip that Fred Phelps and his gang are not old school Primitive Baptists is in their very name. Phelps and his clan call their church the Westboro Baptist Church. But primitive Baptist churches always put the term primitive in their names. Why? Because they want to distinguish themselves from free will Baptists, missionary Baptists, Southern Baptists, and so on. If Phelps and Gang were primitive Baptists, then their church would be known as Westboro Primitive Baptist Church. Another giveaway, and I spotted this one almost immediately is that Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church play music during their worship services while they are singing. They have music in the worship service. No old school primitive Baptist believes in playing music during their worship service. Why, you ask? Because old school primitive Baptists use a Baptist hermeneutical principle and that principle teaches that that which is not commanded in the New Testament must not be practiced. By the way, this also makes it impossible for them to be Calvinist, for Calvinism teaches that that which is not abrogated in the New Testament carries over. So since there is music in the Old Testament worship, and since there is no command doing away with it in the New Testament, then it carries over. But it must not overshadow the preaching of the Word. But again, the Baptists claim that anything which is not commanded in the New Testament is not to be practiced. So since the New Testament church is not commanded to play instruments in the New Testament, then old school primitive Baptists do not allow their congregations to do so. 
That's why they don't allow music when they sing in the congregation during the worship service. Uh, they sing a cappella, and they're very good at it too. Uh, Fred Phelps and his congregation have this big piano right there in the sanctuary, and they use it during worship. You would think Phelps would have actually looked into Primitive Baptist distinctions before claiming to be one, but foolish people make foolish mistakes. On this Baptist hermeneutical principle, dancing is also forbidden, but you can watch Phelps' granddaughters dance away on their many websites if you go and watch their music videos. Uh, <laughs> a more serious indication that Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church are not old school primitive Baptists uh, was made known to me when I contacted the man who runs their internet media. His name is Steve Drain and he's a member of Westboro Baptist Church. I wanted to know if Phelps and his gang followed the teachings of Gilbert Beebe. So on March 1st, 2009, I asked Steve Drain if they studied the theology of Gilbert Beebe. He indicated that he didn't know, but he told me that he would ask. He came back and he told me they didn't. Well, in a sermon preached on September 6, 2009, in a sermon titled, I Know That My Redeemer Liveth, just months after I had asked them about Gilbert Beebe, Fred Phelps, before the sermon, tells his audience how he has recently came across the writings of an old school primitive Baptist who lived back in the 19th century and who had a newspaper titled Signs of the Times. You can go to his website, click the audio, uh, go back on his sermons, and listen to this, listen to this very sermon I'm telling you about. Uh, well, guess who Fred Phelps is talking about in this recording? Yep, Gilbert Beebe. And this is sure indication that Phelps and his gang have never heard of Gilbert Beebe. Uh, Phelps claims that only recently have Gilbert Beebe's works been published. But this is not the case. For C.C. Morris, a real old-school primitive Baptist who lives in Hawkins, Texas, has been selling all seven volumes of Gilbert Beebe's editorials for years. I know because I bought my set from him. I'll go ahead and show you guys a picture of uh, my set. Uh, well, so why is this important? in showing that Fred Phelps and his gang are not uh, old-school primitive Baptists. What does it matter if Fred Phelps just recently came to know about Gilbert Beebe? The answer is because an old-school primitive Baptist preacher who has never heard of Gilbert Beebe, that would be like a Calvinist preacher who has never heard of John Calvin. <laughs> I guess it could be possible, but very unlikely and certainly obnoxious. I have met my share of old school primitive Baptists, some preachers, and some studying for the ministry, but I have never met one that didn't know who Gilbert Be uh, who didn't know who Gilbert Beebe was. Probably the most serious piece of evidence that demonstrates that Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church are not truly old school primitive Baptists is the fact that the gospel cannot be found anywhere on their websites. You can go search for yourself, and you'll be hard-pressed to find any definition or explanation of what the gospel is. You will find no articles on their website explaining the great doctrine of justification by faith alone. Now, true old-school, old-line, hard-shell, primitive Baptists insist on teaching justification by the imputed righteousness of Jesus Christ received by faith alone. Consider Gilbert Beebe. He teaches justification by the imputed righteousness of Jesus Christ in every one of his seven volumes. Indeed, the gospel is the primary way we identify a true Christian church from a false one. If the assembly of people do not have the correct definition of the gospel, if they do not believe in justification by faith alone, then they are not a gospel church, no matter what they claim to believe. When Fred Phelps and his gang claim to believe in the doctrines of grace, but they never present the doctrine of justification by faith alone, then surely something is terribly wrong. For as John Calvin, Martin Luther, and John Gill all agreed, sola fide is the most important article of faith for us believers. The entire church stands or falls on this. 
Recently, Fred Phelps published an open letter to the primitive Baptist churches in the United States. He wanted to know if there are any true ones you know, still left out there. To be sure, many that claim to be old-school primitive Baptist churches have ceased teaching the absolute predestination of God in all things. They've ceased to teach double predestination, justification by faith alone, and so on. But there are still a few of them left. Saints Rest Primitive Baptist Church, Hawkins, Texas, Elder C.C. Morris is just one example of uh, some of the holdouts. Not every Primitive Baptist Church has uh, given over into Arminianism and worse. Uh, good old C.C. Morris is still holding strong. Uh, in his open letter to the Primitive Baptists, Fred Phelps in Westboro Baptist Church lists 27 things they believe indicate a true church. Sadly, not one of these 27 things is belief in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not one of these 27 things insists on the pure teaching of justification by faith alone. Like I said earlier, Phelps and his gang simply do not realize that the primary mark of a true church is the pure teaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. At one point in the letter on page 22, I'll put a link to the letter in the description box for you guys if you want to read it for yourself. On page 22 of Phelps' letter, Phelps and his church write the following, and I quote, Some primitive Baptists say we are too hard and that we do not preach Jesus enough. We preach Christ through repentance and obedience, end quote. Apparently, Westboro Baptist Church ran into some folks who told them their problem was that they do not preach the gospel enough. True old school primitive Baptists do adhere to a proper distinction between law and gospel. And you have to understand that never preaching the gospel is a violation of the law-gospel distinction. Notice Westboro Baptist Church's claim that they preach Jesus Christ through repentance and obedience. This is not the gospel. The gospel is not repent. The gospel is not obedience to God's law. The gospel is only about God's perfect work in Jesus Christ for us. The gospel is about who Jesus Christ is and what Jesus Christ did for us his particular people, the elect, about 2,000 years ago. The gospel is about Jesus Christ having our sins imputed to him, forgiving us of our sins, while his perfect righteousness is imputed to us, giving us title to eternal life. The gospel is about Jesus Christ propitiating the wrath of God for us, expiating for our sins. The gospel is not about our obedience. The gospel is not about anything we do, but it is only about what Jesus did for us. Westboro Baptist Church's claim on page 22 of their open letter to the Primitive Baptists indicates that they believe in the heresy of lordship salvation. And this indicates they are not Calvinists, not old school Primitive Baptists, not even Christians. Thank you.